Guys, today we're gonna teach you how to shoot the Trevella. You know that slightly weird, but also rather awesome looking shot where you use the outside of your foot to get that banana shaped curve and put the ball, of course, to the top corner. And you might have seen Ricardo Caresma basically doing this all his life. But we have one problem today, and that is the fact that, well, as you can see, I kind of need to work a lot on my Trevella. So tell about myself and tell about you guys, a broader friend. And as you can see, He's pretty flipping good at this. He even got a crossbar. Now, you might know him all the way from Canada and soccer reviews for you.com. It's Josh. What's Joe, up, man? whoa, John. Uh, no, uh, Josh. It's all the way on the internet. Uh, Jay, actually. Uh, uh, last time I checked, I'm Jay. So step one is kind of two parts because it has to do with the approach as well as where you plant your foot. Now typically with an approach, a lot of guys like to take a few steps back and then a step or two to the right. This is almost like a straight line to the ball, which is a little bit more straightforward. The difficult and tricky part that takes practice is where you plant your foot. Normally you plant your foot very close to the ball, but you have to plant it a little bit further away so you have clearance for your swinging leg to get around the ball and past your plant foot. So step two is really straightforward. It has to do with your follow through, which you would typically do with a normal strike. And it's extra important when you're striking with the outside of your foot, because if you don't follow through, you lose all your power. It's kind of an awkward movement, but once you get used to doing it, making it feel more natural, the power will come really easily. Step three has to do with where you make contact with the ball. And this is gonna depend on how strong you are as well as how strong your technique is. Now, when you strike a ball normally, you tend to hit it near the middle. Obviously, for an outside bend, you wanna hit it more towards the outside. Here's the thing. The further towards the outside you make contact with, the more leg strength is going to be required in order to generate the power. If you're more towards the middle, the power is gonna come more easily, but obviously the ball's not gonna bend as much. This is kind of a fine tuning thing that you have to play around with. Again, practice makes perfect here but it's something that you need to be aware of when trying to hit an outside bet. So step four is something that a lot of people don't even consider, and that is locking your ankle. Obviously, you have to get your foot in the right position to make contact with the ball, but making sure your ankle is physically locked through the entire contact is where you're going to lose and gain your power. If your ankle is somewhat limp, the shot's not gonna come off, you're not gonna get any power, and it's just not going to work. So learning to lock your ankle is extremely important. So the fifth and final point is really what's gonna make or break your ability to get better at this technique. And it has to do with the technique itself. When you're practicing this, focus on being smooth, focus on making good ball contact, focus on everything we talked about, the technique specifically, rather than the power. If you concentrate on the power too much, your technique's never going to improve, and you're gonna have a terrible outside bend for the rest of your life. Focus on being smooth and clean contact, and that's how you're going to improve. So to sum it all up, one, your approach and where you're planting your foot is extremely important. Two, your follow through is where all your power is gonna come from. Three, where you're making contact with the ball, that's something you really have to work on. Number four, locking your ankle properly is extremely important. And then finally, when you practice this, work on smoothness, work on your technique, that should be your focus rather than power. So guys, Hopefully you learned how to perform the Travella. As you can probably see on me, well, it takes time to perfect. So I still gotta work and that's what you should remember. You might have the technique, you might have all the knowledge on how to do it, but keep in mind that you should always train, 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 work, work, work. But Jason, thank you so much for coming on, man. Pleasure. Appreciate it, John, appreciate <laughs> it. 
And guys, remember that if you want to see daily videos on all the latest boots, all the boot nerding, well, you should go follow this guy. You can subscribe to his channel if you click right over there. Be like Jay, I'm a subscriber, you should do the same. Of course, if you want to gear up in the Phantom Visions like we're wearing right now, you can also click the link somewhere on your screen. Go and shop everything on unisportstore.com. Finally, also, don't forget to sub to our channel if you're new here. It's pretty awesome, and we also make a lot of videos, so what are you waiting for? Click all the subscribe links and have fun. We're signing off, Jimmy out. Later.